Hey folks, one of the questions I get a lot is what I do for water filtration. And that's whether I'm on a base camp hunt, a backpack hunt, say I'm up in Alaska, camped on the beach of the ocean, but we need to filter water somewhere. Um, and you see in front of me, every type of water filtration system you can probably think of. I'm gonna walk through each of these show you how I use them and show you when and why I use them. So I'm gonna start with the one I probably use the most and this is the big 10 liter Catadyne base camp filter. Uh, it's very light, it comes in this little bag and say it's me and my camera crew, we can filter a lot of water in a hurry. Right there, that quickly, I got 10 liters of water. Now what I do, I just take my platypus water tanks, and you see I pinch that to keep it from flowing. This is gonna flow so fast, it's crazy. Oop. It's really lightweight. It disassembles the filter, the, the connector, the, everything comes apart. You can fit it in a very small space in your backpack. So there you go, I've got four liters there. Sometimes when we're doing backpack hunts and there's a bunch of us, I'll bring this filter and I won't even bring any of my platypus water tanks because of weight and space. And we'll just hang this up and everybody comes and brings their water fill or their uh, water bladder over and you just plug it off with that and you can leave it there. And it's kind of like turning on the sink. If you want to turn the sink on, you just open it up again and water comes out. The other gravity filter that I use a lot, uh, and if I need uh, less water, I'll use this platypus gravity system. I always get water upstream from where you're disturbing the water or the, the creek bottom. Uh, a sure way to get more sediment in there is to be upstream of where you're getting your water. You can see it says dirty. I'm gonna go hang this in a tree. This is my clean reservoir. You wanna let gravity do as much work as possible. So right here, what I'm doing, you're seeing these bubbles come out of there? It's getting the air out of here and uh, once you get that air out of there, then you're gonna have less air and more water coming through, so it's gonna speed up the flow. So now you can see I've probably tripled or quadrupled my flow rate just by getting the, as many of these air bubbles out of here as possible. So there we go, in about five minutes, this four liters of dirty water went through this filter, and now I've got four liters of clean water. Color might be a little off, flavor and taste might be a little bit off, but you're not gonna get sick. You've seen me do these first two gravity flow systems, and I've told you that's what I use for 90, 95% of my use. And the reason being is a pump system like this actually weighs as much and takes up as much space as that big gravity flow base camp one. And I just want to use gravity flow systems rather than have to sit somewhere and do this. But I'm going to quickly show you how these pump systems work.
You can see what I'm doing here is I'm trying to keep my intake just barely under the surface. Just enough that it's going to grab water and not air, but not so much that it gets down there and picks up a bunch of sediment. So you can see there's water flowing in right now. The beauty of these pump systems is if you're in a really shallow creek, the, the gravity flow system, sometimes you just can't fill your uh, dirty bag or your filtering bag up fast enough or you only get a half a liter of water in it because of how shallow the creek is. This is a SteriPan. I don't use it just because one, you got to have pretty clean water to start with and it's not going to do as much volume of water as I need. This is a filter straw. This would be for absolute emergency situations. I don't use it just because the volume that you can do is super, super small. Yeah, if I was in hunting in country where I know I'm going to get dehydrated, I know water sources are going to be scarce, maybe I'd rely on that. That's for emergencies only. One of the things you got to be careful with any of these systems, if you're doing it, where the weather is getting colder. Make sure that you pump these things or drain these things completely dry. Because if you leave water, just little bits of water in these and it gets down to 20 degrees, 25 degrees that night, it's gonna freeze in there. And when water freezes, it, it freezes, it expands, and it's gonna crack your filters, it might crack your pump, it might crack any place where you have a connector. Make sure you get it completely drained out. Well, there you have it, folks. That is what I do. This is what I use when it comes to filtering water. You might have a completely different system, completely different perspective on it, and that's fine. Whatever works for you. But for me, as you saw, I'm a big fan of the gravity systems because it's usually me and a crew of people. If it's just you, maybe you're going to go to one of the pump systems. Whatever it is, make sure you have a clean filter. Make sure you know how to use the system and make sure you have a nearby water source that you're gonna be able to filter water from. Thanks for watching.